Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Now the most suitable features on this TRD Sport is its power moonroof. You also have your blind spot monitoring and your wireless charging. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD Sport is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. And then if we take a closer look at your front hood, you're going to see your hood scoop. And then taking a look on your bumper, you're going to find your block heater. And over on the side, you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors, vortex generators. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is cement. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you do have your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet along with your automatic headlights. And then on the inside of your driver's side door, you do have your mirror controls along with your window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see on the steering wheel include your scroll function, volume control, voice recognition mode select, Bluetooth scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and your cruise control. Now one of the nice things with this multi-informational display is that you can go through many of the different options on here which include a digital speedometer, distance to empty, trip info, and then scrolling over to your right you're going to see your navigation as well as your audio. You have your lane departure alert, messages, and then you also have your settings for your pre-collision system, lane departure alert, and your settings menu. And at the very top of the screen you also see an exterior temperature gauge. And if we take a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options, which include a digital clock and then heading into the apps menu, you'll find your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. And taking a look just down below here, you are going to see your temperature control settings along with your 4x4 select hazard lights, heated mirrors, and then your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it. Now underneath here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring on and off, open and close for your power rear window, USB and auxiliary, wireless charging on and off, and then you also have your power outlet. Now with the wireless charging, the pad's just located down below here, so once you have it turned on you can just place it on top and have it start uh, charging for you. Now it's matted to a manual transmission, and taking a look at the very top here you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your traction control on and off and your open and closed and your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. And then you also have a sunglass case holder just for those days when it's quite bright outside. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you have a three-piece bumper. So in the event that you damage the one section, you just have to replace the one segment. Now located on the inside, you'll find your seven and your four pin for your towing. Located underneath your rear bumper, you'll find your spare tire. And then on the back of the tailgate, you have the backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo bed just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do have that rear cargo power outlet, so if you're ever out the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now you have some storage space over on your right and left hand side. The other great thing with this TRD Sport is it does come with the bed rail system in it. So you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there and place them all on one side of the bed rail system or take them out all together just depending on what your needs are for. Now over on your left, right, front, and back side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down any loose cargo, just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get a spot email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.